Hi, this is Witch Nikki, and I'm joined here today with Ruby. She will be coming in and out of the picture, probably. Um, I'm going to put together this BCP <clears throat> Solar Power Bird Bath. Okay, so I'm just... <clears throat> That's what it looks like. Now, I'm not gonna hold this phone all the time. These are the instructions. So it says Phillips screwdriver, and it has the pieces that I need here. I don't know why it's solar. I wonder what that does. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Let me say to read all the notices and stuff like that. Do you, do you, folk, do you folks do that? Do you read? <laughs> I, I do. I, I'm practical and it's like, um, <clears throat> okay, this looks like it goes here and here and here and here. And then if not, <laughs> then I go back and try to do things differently. So I'm hoping this will... I should have a better I should have a better place for my thing in case Ruby decides to come along and knock it over. So all right. See there she goes. There she goes. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna put these screw tips, because either the kind that you have you put which one fits that you need. Okay. And put this right down here. And do you ever have one of those days where you just want to do something? <clears throat> so I asked Michelle if I could put this together, and she said I could. But it might not take too many. It might take something, some tools, or it might not take any, I don't know. But, uh, let's see. There's always like some little thing down at the bottom. You don't, you never know. Could be just for packing. Ruby's over here being all snoopy. <coughs> well, this has kind of been here for a long time. Michelle's been really busy working, so I just thought, hey, why don't I, why don't I find a purpose for today? So my purpose for today is going to be putting together this, and I don't know why it has it, maybe to light it up? I don't know. So I'm gonna put this over here, <coughs> so it's not in the way. <coughs> And I always put things back in the box so that way they're not like all over, you know, everything's getting lost. Okay, so. okay this seems to be the, um, the, uh, <laughs> hmm. Oh, the pedal stole shaft is what I think this is. It looks like it what would be something like that. <clears throat> so. I don't like the way that new stuff smells. Oh, kind of plasticky and stuff, but It'll be okay. Alright, so here's another base. And I don't know which base because this has, it has one. We'll see. That could be the bottom <coughs> base thing. And then maybe. Okay, so this is the flat one. I hope I'm going to be able to do this. 
Um, there's another one that has ridges on it. Don't you just love these kind of decorations? I mean, <laughs> not decorations, um, directions. Okay, well. Oh, okay. One of these, one PC is pointing up and one of them is down, but this one doesn't seem to be it. I think this is it. <clears throat> this might take me more than, <clears throat> it says 20 minutes, more or less. We'll see. I'm not gonna hurry, okay? I'm not. Because hurrying might make something break. And I'm not going to speed this up either. It is what it is. This is another contraption type thing. And sometimes they might not draw it to make it look exactly how it is in the picture. But I think this is one. They have another thing that's called. Oh, pedal base collar. Probably. Um, solar lamp. Um, what is this? What is this? This is the base. Okay, that's good because it looks like we could probably. I'm wondering, we get a lot of wind here, and I think even just putting uh rocks in the bottom, if that's how you weight it down, might we might need something else. We might even need to um, get a car or something. Okay, and so this one is probably the roof. This has a roof. Okay, or here's a flat one. This is a feeder base. Okay. And this one, I think, yeah, like I said, is the roof. And then this one is the water basin. It looks like the water basin part. Okay, so. Pretty much seems all of some kind of plastic stuff. Now, maybe I should um, pause every time I have to open up a bag. Very important Allen wrenches. I'll put those by the tools. That looks pretty important. That looks like the interim rod. This looks like a, uh, probably on the other page. Uh, yeah, a roof bracket. And this one was a feeder bracket. It's kind of good to know because then you'll know where they're supposed to all be going to. And this looks like a feeding trough? What? Are you kidding me right now? What? This is the feeding trough? This is what you put the bird seed in? This is so small. But well, we'll see. That's what it says. Let's take a look and see if they have a picture of this thing. Yep. It actually shows it right about here at the top. Teeny little thing for you put a little bit of bird seed. What they they the main attraction is the bath. And while you're waiting to take your splash, you could have a couple seeds. Okay. I'm, I'm trying not to say comments that might turn people against me. Oops. Okay, well, these are little pieces of some 
things, screws and such, and bolts and whatever. So we don't want to lose them. And I'm going to put them on this piece of paper. And there's these, <coughs> I think they call these things brackets or what do you call them? Brackets, uh, blah, blah, blah. Washers. A rubber one, a rubber seal, and a washer. A large bolt, okay. Um, there's two small screws and a larger bolt. You got that already. And larger screw, okay. Grounding stakes. Maybe those are over there. There's nothing else in this little bag. <coughs> Here. I did not see any. Oh, maybe these are the grounding stakes. Not that I thought they were Allen wrenches. But it doesn't say anything about them. They must, these must be the stakes. Yeah, these aren't Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches usually have some kind of hexagon shape or some kind of shape to them that help to turn a whatever into place. And we've got tape on this stuff. So, you can kind of tell by how I'm going. <clears throat> I'm not the world's best poem putter together person. What did I just unpackage right now? But I could get things done. Uh, roof supports. Oh, okay. Roof supports. And there's four. I just like to make sure that everything's in there. That's basically what it is. And then I could kind of get a name to how everything's supposed to go. Um... That this, this one's supposed to be the roof. And where's the base? Oh, this one's the base. Okay. Mm -hmm. The base. And then that feet thing. And then this is like a roof. So that's why. And then feeder base okay so now we're going to take the base and we're going to put this thingamajig which is called the pedal base collar I goes into wait a minute You got I and J. Okay. Right. Can you see what I'm doing here? Good. Sturdy. All right. What does it say on the bottom? Nothing. Nothing important. Um. Next, it will be this thingamajig, which is H. Pedestal staff will go into I, which is this. <clears throat> and we go this way. Okay. And just hold it kind of straight. <clears throat> You want it to be crooked. There's a lot of it running out of the gas. Sometimes you notice when you're screwing and something starts to go wonky. Yeah. This is why I'm having a little bit of trouble here. No, nope. see it's starting to go kind of wonky. So you don't want to force it. First part went in just fine. Okay, this seems to be okay. So you just have to be careful. 
don't when it and when it gets to a point where it's not gonna go don't force it more by twisting it becoming a, a muscle man or whatever you want to say just gently stop and like okay it's not going it's not going for a reason because it's not matched up all the little things all the grooves gotta fit together see I'm getting there there we go and then you, you just want to do it enough to it stops okay now <clears throat> Okay, then we need, um, we need the G, and the G was the water basin, and the F, which was this, I better make sure, G, F, G, and the F, interim rod and the water basin. And we need what else? Okay, we need the six, we'll go below it. And six is the still one, and five goes above, which is the rubber one. So, So, and wait, we need something else. We need the seven. Seven is the large bolt. Da, da, da. Okay, so we need the seven. We need the metal one. Didn't say anything about having um, a bolt thingy. But I guess I'm just going to hold it here with my finger. Then we need to have this one, which is the rubber one. It goes on top. And then we have this thingamajig that looks like a candlestick-ish type thing. And that goes right on top there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't say anything about I hope I can do this all by hand. Because it's saying it's loose. And it didn't say anything about a wrench for this thing I'm a jig. here the screwdriver that's all it said it needed okay because it gets into a certain point where it doesn't want to go anymore and I'm pushing it from the back Should just twist right on there. Nope, I'm gonna need a, a wrench thingy. So sorry, I'm gonna have to pause you. Continue. <laughs> I had to get a pillow to sit on. Um, so I got two. I don't know if this this one might not work. It's because it might be too big. Oh, it's over here. I already got that part done. So let me see. Nope. 
that's okay because I got this one. Because it's kind of hard to do on it. You just want it tight enough that it's not going to move around. I've been twisting it from this one, okay? Because it's kind of hard. You just want to kind of grip it from inside here, and it's kind of hard because it's got this ridge right here. Okay, so now it's not moving anymore. And we always want to put tools back exactly where we found them, okay? Let's see, especially if they're not ours, if we're borrowing them. So keep them all there. Now, we did that step three, which is put those thingamajigs together. Now, Screw the water basin assembly onto the part H pedestal shaft. Okay, so that's this one. And this thing feels pretty heavy. I don't think it's metal per se, but it's very heavy. Okay, so we want to do the same thing. If it starts like being wonky, you want to stop. See that? Okay. Now we need the long screw. Is this the longest one? And what do we need to do it? This thing into here. Doesn't seem like such a long screw. But it's the longest screw that they sent. See that? Thing? That screw looks like the longest. And it's got three. Let's see. Okay, so anyways, let me see that four, that number four is actually, is it the longest? Long, small screws and a bolt. Okay, yeah, that's it. These are longer than the other ones. I think at this point I want to, I want to see which one of these is going to fit. Probably that one will be fine. Okay. So this goes in the tip right here. Okay. Because sometimes you don't want to screw it too tight because then it might crack something. But you just don't want it to move and wiggle around. Okay, so that part's done too. Then we need to have E, which I think is this flat one. Yeah. And then one of these screws in each of these little holes at the top. Because these are going to screw into that thing in the jug. But I want to put them in the, these holes first so that they're sticking out the bottom. That way, you know, we can see it easier. So, so far, this is 
if I can understand doing this, pretty much anybody else can understand doing it too. And I'm just going along the guide thing because I want to make sure I'm using the right parts, putting them in the right place, etc. Okay. Now, see that way, we just take it, match up the holes here, here. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. <coughs> And there's actually what I like about it. You can't see it right here, but on the uh, support thingy, there's like a little plastic cover so that the screw goes right into place and you're not like, ow, or the birds aren't going to hurt themselves on it. So let me do that. I'll tighten it up later. It's always best to kind of when you go in a circle, you want to do a little bit at a, at a top. Hoping this will fit. Okay. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, looks like it's going to fit right in. Right into place. Okay. Now I'm trying to decide whether this should go in the front yard or the backyard. And I'm thinking we do get, with the bird feeder that we have out there in both areas, we get a lot of pigeons. Like this neighborhood has like a million <laughs> pigeons. Just tighten these up a little bit because of. This is going to be having pigeons on there. We want it to stand up. Okay, so got this on. Driving in my car. Okay, okay so now. Okay. Oh, geez, this didn't go in very straight. Okay, so I might as well bring you over here and show you. Um, <laughs> you see how when I stand this up, there's a gap right here. I don't like that because that might be, yeah, it's wiggly. So I need to get the screw. I need to take these off and a little bit. This is how I'm going to do it, though. little bit what am I talking about <laughs> okay so I'm holding it I'm balancing my foot on there okay I think we just need to do two for now need to get it up because then we could just turn it a little bit let me put y'all down for a second. Wah. Sorry about that. But I, I, I paused it and I was gonna just re, redo the whole thing. Well, not the whole thing, but what the part I need to do. And then just act like it didn't happen. So I'll show you, then I thought, no. The whole purpose of this is to show people what can and can't might not happen see so I've just undone two and then let it down go down enough that I could screw this in a little bit tighter put you over here that's okay see right here 
here. I just need to go in a little bit tighter with this. There we go. How did that go? All right, now twist this back up to where the screws match the little area at the top here where there's a cover. This part you want to get at least 30 because if the birds are going to be on there, any slight little wiggle wiggle, that's going to scare them and they're going to fly away. So, um, yeah, now we're going to put these thingamajigs on it. There's four of them. And how do they go? Oh, um... I see these little holes here. I mean, these little, not holes, these things are gonna go up here and go in a hole. So, let's see, let's see the little holes. So, I guess we could just start with one. Hope it just pops right in there, because I, I don't have the much as much strength as I used to. Okay, that's right. Pretty much how this is gonna go. And you do have to push pretty hard, but just as long as it's flatly surfaced right along there, because we don't want the birds getting hurt or flying away because everything's scary to them. <sighs> Ruby. Inside the top of the stairs. There she is. <laughs> Likes watching me. She likes making sure I come back too. <laughs> I went to the the garage to have my car looked at today for it wound up just being a little bit of time for the brakes but um have to go back on friday and i make an appointment and michelle said she did not leave the door she looked at for a few few seconds she michelle was getting something to eat and ruby w went up for that and said hey what you doing okay i'm going back here to wait for my human Okay, so see, there we go, and then we have this feeding trough, what the heck? <laughs> You'll put bird seed in this. Even in the picture, it looks bigger. So I'm wondering if I got the right thing. Seems to be. That's all there is. Okay, so then it has that. See? This. This. You don't want to accidentally turn me off there. Okay, then it has this, and oh, those are the legs of that. And we have this. So it says A, which is the, oh, I wonder it looks bigger. What? What is this? Oh, wait. I'm not done with the other part yet. Jeez Louise. Um, what is that? 
just goes in this little hole right here. This is C. C. C is the feeding trough. And that goes right here in the middle of these little thingies that we just put on. The little supports. Let me put it around here so you see. They're just kind of pressed and twisted. Pressed and twisted. There we go. Okay, now it's got the D, the C, into this. Now we need the solar lamp, which I imagine, don't you call this a solar lamp? Goes to... Here? Is this how they're doing it? Okay. And then this goes on to where? Says place the part B roof onto the roof bracket. I guess then the hmm. This is a fruit. Blah. Okay, I did that part already. Then I did this part. Okay. But now I'm trying to figure out how these will be going. And let the screws go into them. And then... Because it just says attach the part one roof bracket to the roof supports with four part screws. Place the B roof onto the roof bracket, then insert part A solar lamp. Okay, so we don't do the solar lamp yet. And I'm gonna have to stand up for this part. like a video to tell you how unfit I am <laughs> to show you I mean okay so here we got to do this part so um, this thing I'm a jack the screw right now okay here's the screws I'm gonna put them you know, put them in the fold of the book so they don't roll off. Okay, so. How do 
of these. Because the reason why I'm, I'm puzzled, oh, there does, there does seem to be some holes here, but that's not where they go. Okay, so this, this goes on to these thingamajigs. Yeah, you see how they fit now. Okay, so take one screw at a time. I better do what I did before put these in the holes do you notice I um, of course now now that I've said that I might start cussing but I haven't cussed during this whole video so I was a little bit upset that I had to go upstairs and get a wrench type thing because you need to have a wrench type thing to they was throwing one screw just for an extra. So one of these screws is going to go on each one of these little leg thingies here. And like I said, do a couple turns just to get it into place. but you do the same thing when you change a tire too when you're putting the um those things back on the car okay. you just need this to be sturdy enough too so if it kind of wiggles or enough something then you just that they don't tell you is that you need to keep the water clean and the food area clean so I would just suggest come out every once in a while if you don't if you're squeamish about bird poop put on gloves if you're not don't worry about it you're not gonna it's not gonna hurt you to go out there and wipe down the bird poop clean it up like once a week those birds are poopy and it's the poop that when it dries that's a problem okay so now oh yeah now does this go on didn't say to and there's no place for the screws to go. So this, see how the, these thingies are? I don't know if I could get a good view of them. See that? There's three of them. And they kind of just pop into place. Because they got a little ridge there that kind of hold, holds it into place. So I want to put it in. Make sure your fingers are in it. Although this does say one person thingy, so I'm gonna make sure that all the see kids not these three things fit inside. 
and there should be a snap. Okay, that's one. You don't want to push it down too much, but uh, there we go. See that? See? There you go. That's just to test it out. Now it says to put in um, A, which is A, the solar lamp. Then you take it outside. I'll just get the solar lamp in there. Now it's got a cover at the top that's plastic. I just want to peel this off. It's really clean. And here comes Ruby because she thinks the sound of plastic wrap means opening up. I can't see trees outside. Show you. It's not treats. I'm sorry to alarm you. It's not treats. It's not treats. Put these plastic bags in here. I don't know. Carrying them off. And so now, this is the solar, and it goes inside here. Push it all the way down. Pretty sure that's as far as it goes. Then it sticks up a little bit. And then that's pretty much it. It has helped bestchoiceproducts.com on the back. So if you need other kind of help, um, chat with us. I don't know why it shows a, share, a chair and a question mark. What does that mean? And then I guess questions and product assembly product warranty information 60 days from the receipt okay we had this for a while that's why i wanted to get it going because like being in the box does not mean you're gonna get a, a warranty they start counting as soon as they think that you got it okay so let's take a look at that first of all I'll pick up these things off of the floor. Put them up here on the countertop. Oh, I need to... I need to replace this. Goes in here. Mm -hmm. And then put them all up here. These are going to be hard to do because here we have so many rocks. All these rocks. Do these go? I know it goes to the bottom. What? How do these go in the bottom? Are there any holes there for it? Hey, are you seeing what I'm seeing? place for these to go. Because I'm not going to just break them in there. There's there's four holes at the bottom. But these show that these things go right here. Along the rim. Let me show you. There's no place. Let's 
See, the holes are in here. Oh, I don't want to break anything. Nope. And it shows that they go here, but I don't see anything there. See? And there's four of those holes and only three of the the little things to hold them down. I don't see how they go in. Sorry. I don't see how they go in. Nope. They're not showing. Okay. Yeah, because there's three. And I don't see any. It's not like I expect you to answer me right now, but I'm just showing you. So now, what do I do? I thought that they would go into these little holes right down here. See those holes? But there's only three of these, so. And there's nothing, nothing to stick them with, and there's no holes at the top of that thing. Don't think I put it on wrong. Let me see. Down. No, there's no holes along this rim. I didn't, I didn't put it upside down because this is the bottom where there's a label on the bottom of it. So I did it like this, and I don't see any nothing. So, we're going to have a fun time trying to figure this out. That's why I was thinking the little ridge there, I could put, I could pile up rocks inside the bottom ridge right there. See, right here. Because even if the, these were to go in, they're at a slant. See? And it doesn't show them going in like that. And how come they have four holes and only three of these? Three of these thingamajigs. The ground stake, three pieces it says. But the bottom of that thing has, um, and see how I keep telling you, they're going on the outside, but there's no holes there. And if I pound them in, it's gonna crack the plastic so nope not doing that well let's go Ruby you gonna come with us I want to see where where might be a good place to go and, and do this you see what I'm up against here rocks All these rocks. All these rocks. And we have the barbecue right there. But we kind of want it somewhere where I guess it's going to be getting some sunshine so that it will go on. Maybe in the corner because... It's going to get sunshine there. The wall will kind of help support it a little bit when we do have... Oh, Jesus. 
I did not realize how loose this is. Oh my God. Look at that. Ruby better never find out about that. Uh, so I don't really want to prop anything up against it. So I'm kind of using as a bird feed, bird water right now. So that needs to come out. Hmm. Here it's too shady. All day it's too shady. Although it, no, it's not going to get any direct sunlight for that little light. Um, here by the porch. It's already, the rocks are already kind of emptied from that area. We've been trying to move them. I have no idea what that thing is sticking up from the ground, but I tried pulling it up and it just stuck in the ground. I have no idea what it is. Look at this thing. Neva Ruby doesn't know. It's like a hose that's underground. See? What is this? And it's got a, it's capped on, so I guess little bugs and stuff don't go in there. I have no idea what it is. So. Here's idea one, because it's near the faucet, but it's still in the shade. Pretty much, it will get some. Um, maybe right about here. See, what about that? Because near the little bush, and so maybe just little birds will come. I put the um, these little spokes. Ruby, come out here, hun. Come on, come out here. See, I was thinking to push these in the ground because I'm not going to go anywhere here. Darn it, I can't. So. Anyways, that's pretty much where it's going to go. I'm going to pause for now, and then I'll come back one last time. It's almost gone to an hour project. Okay, so, whew, excuse me for being out of breath. Come on, Ruby. So, I dug out the rocks. It only took me um, a few minutes, <laughs> five minutes. And then I put those um, anchors in one in each place right there. So then what I'm going to do is move the rocks back into it. That will give it a cute little appearance. We're trying to um, get the rocks. You know what? That's even... Well, I don't want the birds eating it, but I think what I'll do is just put a few of the smaller rocks. Hold these rocks. Holy shit. Oh, sorry. All these rocks. That's me doing it, not the... Uh, I forgot who they said. I forgot her name. <sighs> What you doing, Ruby? Sniffing around. What's she doing? What's she doing? What you doing? Sniffing around? Alright. So then, I'm going to take some of these bigger rocks and just kind of this one looks too cementy. Doesn't look interesting. I'm sorry. Sorry, rock. All these rocks. That kind of rock is what we call a lever right. Because you leave it right there. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> these are just your basic because it does get windy your basic yard rocks every yard here in this neighborhood has these kind of rocks either outside in the front or in the back some people get rid of them well, here's a nice smooth one I like that a little river rock there we go all these rocks holy shit all these rocks okay so there you go push these I only got one hand going here so that will even add a little bit you don't want to cover up too much of the decoration on the bottom but there you go so oh put the shovel over here all these rocks I can't wait to fill that feeder it's so big I'm gonna put some water in it one day I came out here and the water had been sitting right on the hose. I didn't even think about it. I'm going to give these rocks a little washing off. And then, there you go. helps them to give a little bath but drink some water have a seat or two and be on their way okay I'm just wetting down the rocks around here because some of these rocks got a little bit dirty from the soil underneath okay There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, see, I have one uh, hummingbird feeder up there that I'll be checking, but it's okay for now. Now, I guess the light comes on. I don't know. Maybe in case the birds want a nighttime splash. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Let me pause again. Okay, almost done with this. This has gone over an hour now. <laughs> well, maybe I should have put the seeds in there first. Okay. Oh, that's okay. There we go. That's all right if a little bit got scattered, right? It's not like the birds are going to be really neat and, <laughs> you know, I don't really care. Okay, then I'm going to just sprinkle some down here for some of the ones who are waiting down below. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, now I've already dumped this out. I could use this for something else. So my little fairy garden got dismantled and I put it out here. So I'm just going to put that right there for now until I think of what else to do with it. This is Witch Nikki and it's been really nice uh, sharing with you. Oops. Little adventure of making the solar powered bird feeder with snacks. <laughs> Till next time. Thank you for tuning in and sitting through all of this. 
But on all in all, it was pretty good, except it didn't have the wrench. So you should have a wrench if you get one of these. A wrench and a Thomas screwdriver. And a little bit of power. A little bit of, and patience. Okay, so see you next time. Maybe I'll bring one of my little chairs out here and just kind of sit and see if birds will take a bath here. <laughs> All right, thank you.